All right, so we back with another one, man. And today I got something real simple and quick for you. So right here in front of me, I have the Mayono wireless microphone systems. Uh, you can use any microphone system with what I'm about to show you wireless uh, wise, but this is the Mayono ones right here. So what I'm gonna do today is show you guys that you can use these wireless microphone systems right here with your AME, your Mayono podcast and little suite, your AME too. Uh, very simple. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to switch into that right now, but I just wanna show you guys that it worked and that you can still take advantage of all of the presets and buttons and so forth and so on while using a wireless microphone system. So right here is very easy to set up. We're just gonna get right into it. Uh, right now I'm using the PD400X that's plugged into mic port one. Right here, this is the microphone and this is the transmitter. All you do is take the 3.5 that's supplied by uh, uh, Mayono. I do is plug that into here and run it into mic two. And then all you do is turn these on just like this. Once you get that one turned on and you get this one turned on right here, they are in sync and now we can use these microphones. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on right here, just like that, get it set up nice and you know, tidy. It's gonna be sitting right here. This is where we got it at. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this microphone out of the way and we're gonna slowly transition over into these microphones. So three, two, one. So as you can see, I just switched over to these right here. So I got this microphone right here going uh, I got levels going in Audacity. And even still, I can you know monitor the audio from right here, or I can monitor the audio from the uh, AME tube. So right now I have the lows, mids, and highs. Uh, this is what 10% sounds like if I turn them all the way up on the lows, the mids, turn it all the way up, and the highs, I'm gonna turn the highs down a little bit. But as you can see, you can still manipulate the sounds, put the mids back right here, leave the lows at about, at about 10. I can adjust the gain and so forth on the board right here in front of me. I throw a little screenshot up here of what this looks like, but you guys already saw the tutorial on the AME too, so you kind of got an idea. You can even still use uh, the pitch. If you want to switch it, just like that. Switch it to this side if you want it to. Uh, and you can also still go through the reverb presets. I do like one of them real fast. So this is the reverb presets. This is just one of them, and you can turn uh, pad volumes up, but let's go ahead and turn this decay and stuff up so as you can see i'm using that with the wireless microphone right now i'm not even monitoring it just because i know for a fact that it's working you know what i mean so let's turn that off and uh we'll go and we'll go right back into just the standard so this is just another quick tip for you guys out there if you don't want to use your you know your xlr microphones and so forth and you still want to rock you know just a little wireless uh microphone or like a lapel mic you could just run that right into the uh, mic port 2 and then you can just run it right into this turn your wireless system on and you are good to go. So hopefully this video has been real quick and helpful for somebody out there. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.